Welcome to another edition of My Arlington TV News. I'm Jay Warren. Well, you won't have to wait much longer to cast your ballot in the May general and special elections. Early voting kicks off Monday, April 27th, and it runs through May 5th. Voters will be able to cast their ballots in one of seven locations. Just take a look there at your screen for that list of locations. Now in South Arlington, St. Joseph Catholic Church Parish Hall and the Arlington South Service Center will serve as early voting sites. Residents initially were concerned that the South Service Center location wouldn't be available for early voting, but city and Tarrant County officials figured out a solution to address those concerns, allowing both sites to be open. Election hours, sample ballots, and other details can be found on our website. The Lone Star Race Series unveils its courses for the inaugural Arlington Mayor's 5K, 10K, and Half Marathon. We posted in large maps for each race. The event takes place on Sunday, April 26th, giving residents and visitors a chance to run the American Dream City. The race director says some of these routes will be new to running events here in Arlington. Most of the running that happens inside Arlington is happening at one of three places. River Legacy, the ballparks, or inside UTA. We are really blessed this year that we actually get to run two of the three and then a whole new section of Arlington on, um, the, on the west side. Event organizers expect more than 2,000 people to run this year's inaugural Arlington Mayor's 5K. All proceeds, by the way, will help Ability Connection Texas provide services to children and adults with intellectual and physical disabilities. Well, for more than 40 years, Theater Arlington has been one of the anchors of the city's downtown arts scene. Thousands of talented youth with dreams of performing on the big stage have trained there. In fact, some have gone on to have successful national and international careers in entertainment. And Executive Director Valerie Galloway says you can help the theater go to the next level. We're trying to put, raise $1.2 million. You know, you can give a certain amount and you get to fix the whole lobby. You can give a certain amount and you can fix the whole outside of the building. To learn more about that capital campaign and other events at the theater, visit theaterarlington.org. Filmmaker and UTA film professor Yaki Smith is living his American dream right here in Arlington, one film at a time. Yaki is a rising voice in independent cinema, with several of his films receiving worldwide acclaim. The UTA assistant professor says his dream is to impact people in everything that he does. Arlington is inspiring me because it allows me to inspire others. I mean, my goal, again, has always been to touch the lives of people with anything that I do. And I think Arlington has given me the opportunity to do that. Now we're able to bring arts and we're able to bring film to people who've never been exposed to those things in this city. It's a great story and you can watch the full video on our website and be sure to check out some of our other American Dream stories as well. All you have to do is search American Dream City. In fact, our most recent article features former UTA and NFL player Byron Williams. That's all the time we have for now. We would love for you to follow us on social media and YouTube for original stories happening all across the American Dream City. And be sure to check out our website for the latest news and information. That's myarlingtontx.com. We'll see you back here next time.